Jamie Vardy then. Dan, 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 what about Vardy? He's having a party. Again, it's just... his goal scoring continues. Two in two for England. Um, again, he's pretty much more guaranteed his place for the Euros. And Do you think so? Yeah. Do you think I, he's I, playing now? Yeah, I think he, I, personally, I think he was on the plane before the England games. You can't look any further than him and Kane. Um, and I'd love to see them to actually start a game. But I'm just so proud of him, obviously, being a massive Leicester fan. You, you know, any Leicester fan, you know, you and me and, and whoever, um, you'd be looking at those England games thinking, you know, good on you. From where you were coming to Leicester, performing, doing it at the international level, level as well against Germany and the Netherlands. You can't ask for much more, and you know it's a blessing that we've got him in our side. I was speaking to Youngie, and he says that he's had people tweeting him from America. Apparently, all the kids in America are doing, you know, a Johan Cruyff turn. We've obviously yeah. had one of those. Apparently, they're all now doing a Vardy, and a Vardy <laughs> being the backwards flick with, the, you know, where he did yeah. that against Germany. They're all calling it um, a Vardy, and they're all doing it around in the soccer schools over there, and. Uh, Absolutely mental. It's almost, it's like he's got a move now named after him as well. It's crazy, it's crazy to think. And I, remember, I recall Wayne Rooney being in the ITV studio saying that his son wants a, an England shirt with Vardy on the back. <laughs> it's just crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. And obviously in Thailand now, there's no shirts available. So i tell you what I think it is, why people like Jamie Vardy, is because I've said it for a while about him and a lot of the Leicester team. It's like one of the fans has got off the bench, off the pitch, it's like Ranieri, or in this case, Roy Hodgson's gone round and said, we're one man down, y you in the stands, come down, <laughs> it's your turn to play. And that's, that's I think what Vardy does is he just thinks, it's, it, this might be my only 90 minutes I'm ever going to play. And he, he runs around and doesn't give up. He looked genuinely upset as well, didn't he, that we'd lost yeah. against Holland. I don't I don't blame him. I think, you know, the fact he's done so well, got the team 1-0 up and unfortunately we lost it. But, you know, Danny Drinkwater getting man of the match is, is also great. But... You know, it, it is literally a fairy tale. You can't describe it anything more, anything less than just a whirlwind of a fairy tale. And long may it continue for him. Two very different goals from Vardy as well for England. I mean, if we start with the Holland game, that, yeah. that I mean, I like to see him score goals like that, where it, it, he made it look simple. I don't think it was. It was it was quite straightforward, but he banged it in. But we saw uh, Deli Ali against Germany on Saturday have a similar sort of chance and and balloon it over the thing, over the crossbar. So it's nice yeah. to see him just bury, bury that. Well, what, what's even better about that is the defenders expecting him to make a run to the near post because there's no other option. Um, yeah. You know, you can whip it to the back post, but the, the chances of the keeper catching it are very high. So Vardy's always going to make that run, but you can't stop it. He's so quick and he's always a step ahead of you as a defender. You're not going to stop it. And that's just instinctive as a striker, getting into that position, but also having the control to actually do that. Um and sort of put it into the back of the net was just crazy. And I jumped out of my seat when it went in, celebrating it like he scored for Leicester. It was just yeah. crazy. I mean, that, that, like you say, that back flick, I, I, I watched it, and it almost took two or three times to realise what he'd just done. Because you sort of think, I've yeah. not really seen him do that type of thing for Leicester so much, where he's been that cheeky and clever with it. He's a man full of confidence, and anybody yeah. with confidence will try anything to put the ball in the back of the net. And you're starting to see that, you know, he's starting to really, really come good now. And I hope this isn't a one season wonder for Vardy, um, you know, and sort of I want him to continue next season um, when we're in the Champions League and when we win the league. Um, but, you know, I wanted to see it continue for next season, and I really hope it does because. Yeah, you know, he's been outstanding for us. I mean, Hollywood are meant to be making a film about Jamie Vardy, but don't 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 make it yet. <laughs> there's what what will happen with Leicester this year what's going to happen at the Euros you know I saw a funny somebody had done took the 66 England World Cup winners and, and superimposed Vardy's head on, uh, yeah. on Bobby Moore and I thought yeah you, you know I wouldn't rule it out for the Euros or something who knows I mean he's like you say he's full of confidence Kane's the same it's a good time to be an England fan thanks for joining us thanks for a little chit chat chat shit or whatever you want to say. I <laughs> shouldn't say that on here. Um, bleep that out, Phil. Yes, note to myself for the editing. Anyway, thanks for joining us. We'll catch up with you soon. Brilliant. Take care. Bye. Thanks a lot.